Hey guys, Triple T Cat here, recording for the Zombie Arcade, and today I'm going to be giving you my impressions of the Battlefield 4 beta, and oh <laughs> boy, uh, it's Battlefield 3. Shit, I could end the video right there. Um, no, it's not. It's Battlefield 3 more or less. It's better in a few ways, it's uh, worse in some ways, and it's equally as kinda screwed up in the majority of ways. So, uh, this is only a beta, so right now there are some technical issues that I really, really hope are only an aspect of the beta and will be sorted out. The main one is uh, a lot of crashes and the performance is currently kinda garbage. Um, like, it, it's garbage in a weird way, though. Most of your frame rate will be fine, and then you'll get these weird big stutters and hitches and stuff. It was actually a lot worse when I was recording, um, so I didn't, I didn't do very well in this game because I was experiencing a lot of stuttering. But, um, that's hopefully just an aspect of the beta, something that'll get fixed up for release. Uh, aside from those two things, I would assume that everything in the beta is more or less how it would be in the full game, because that's how it went down with BF3. People are always like, oh, it's a beta, they're gonna change so much. Um, in this case, we have past experience with a similar kind of beta, a similar time from release by the same company on a game on the same engine, and from that we can say that most likely history has told us that not a whole lot's gonna change between this beta client and release some small things. As I said, hopefully they will sort out the major performance problem that seems to be affecting uh, most people. So, the good things about the game. Let's, let's start off on a good foot compared to BF3. So, uh, you've got spectator mode, you've got, you know, colors instead of hyper blue, you've got commander mode, you've got in-game VoIP, and uh, some aspects of the interface, like this spawn screen, is much improved, although I'm not convinced the interface for customizing your class is better. It feels like it takes even more clicks to change your gear now, which is not ideal. Um, however, so some aspects of the interface are definitely improved, so that that's good. Um, and about spectator mode, the lack of blue, commander mode, in-game VoIP, uh, don't give them too much credit for that stuff, guys, because that, that doesn't those things shouldn't count as new features. They're adding back in features of the series that they removed that weren't in BF3 because dice were too lazy. It's kinda... you shouldn't really give somebody too many props for, you know, not doing the bad thing they did before of being lazy and taking away features that the community wanted for no good reason. Uh, you don't, you don't get big props for that in my book. Same with the lack of blue, you know, the, the stupid, the blue art design in BF3 was a stupid decision. I don't know why they stuck by it, why they worked so hard to stop players from fixing it themselves. Uh, so they, they don't really get too many props for removing that. It's just one less thing that I am mad about. Uh, I do like the way the vehicles work and feel a little bit more now than in BF3. You have limited ammo for your primary weapon. Kind of, it regenerates, but quite slowly, um, your vehicle ammo. So th there's that. Also, uh, vehicles sort of getting hit, they get immobilized and stuff like that. They change the way the whole disabling system works. I'm not going to get into too much detail right now, but suffice to say, I, I, think, it's, I think it's pretty good. So those are... Man, look at how many... Uh, go back and count the hit markers, because I can tell you for a fact that this gun kills in four or five shots. Uh, which brings me to the bad things. The bad things. The net code. Holy fuck, it's even worse. And this is something that I would really like to say. It's because it's a beta, it will be fixed. But... Uh, they never fixed it in BF3. They seem to believe their garbage fucking netcode was okay there. So they're presumably going to believe their garbage fucking netcode is okay here, too, when it is not. Aside from the getting shot around corners, which is still a thing, you now have the, the situation which you get in, in some games with terrible netcodes, such as this one, where it appears to be the case that uh, you have to shoot a player like 50 times to kill them, and you are killed by one or two shots. That is what seems to happen from your client perspective. It's not what actually happens, but it is what 
seems to happen. I get this in GTA 5, and the reason I get this in GTA 5 online is because I'm playing with players in America, and it's really fucking laggy. Um, I get this in, you know, 15 ping situations in Battlefield 4, which should not be acceptable. What this tells us is that there is a huge delay on the server side. It seems like it takes so long to kill the enemy player because the shots you fire take a long, a noticeably long time to register on the server end, on the other client end, and for them to actually be killed. And the reason you seem to die in a split second is that the guy who was shooting you was actually firing long before you could tell he was shooting on your client end, uh, and then you, you die. Uh, he was firing long before he seemed to be firing on your client end, but the deaths tend to go through... Lost objective echo. You know, in, in sort of the correct time frame. It doesn't take long to get four bullets out there, but it, it feels like only a couple because... of the stupid massive delay. I didn't explain that very well, but you get... the idea. And I don't know why people don't... why people think this is acceptable, why some people say, oh, it's fine or other solutions would feel just as bad in a different way as a common one? No, they fucking wouldn't! The Gold Source engine in 1998 had great online hit detection. Quake and... <laughs> like, it's it's absurd. You look at all these games from the late 90s, early 2000s, even, fuck, Call of Duty's netcode shits all over this game. It's probably the one aspect where Call of Duty is noticeably a lot better than Battlefield. Um... And, and this is a, something that should not be acceptable. People say, oh, it's because the games are more complicated, so it makes it impossible to have this good hit registry. Then you have to make the game less complicated. This weird disconnected feeling, this weird delayed feeling with the shooting, this weird thing where you get shot around cover really badly, where uh, this stuff should not be considered as something that can be compromised on in an online shooter. It should not be acceptable. And I do not know what the fuck happened to the- well, I do know what happened to the gaming community. They all became filthy fucking casuals who don't even give a fuck if the game they're playing has the slightest feeling of consistency or legitimacy. Uh, I'm really pissed off about this netcode issue. <laughs> I think you could probably tell. This was the one thing from BF3 that I went, this has to be fixed for BF4. This has to go, and I'll probably enjoy BF4 quite a bit. Um, it might even feel like a real video game instead of this weird kind of floaty thing that has some fun aspects, but overall it's just too fucked up to take seriously. Uh, it's even worse. It may be somewhat better for release versus this beta, but nobody's even talking about this shit on the forums. I think people legitimately don't notice or don't care for the most part, and so there's no motivation for DICE to lift their game because the community... Uh, that plays BF3 is essentially the same community that plays Call of Duty. It's, it's you know, a hyper-casual game for the widest possible audience in exactly the same way as Call of Duty. And if you believe anything other than that, by the way, you're a fucking idiot. Uh, all these people saying, comparing Battlefield to COD is like comparing fine wine to turds or something. No. It's not. They're pretty much the same game now. The difference is, is that the Battlefield franchise has a larger scale on vehicle combat. But in terms of the core gameplay experience, um, the, the shooting, the level of strategy, all that kind of stuff, it's pretty much Call of Duty. Uh, in fact, Battlefield 4 feels even faster and less tactical than BF3 did. I'm not quite sure why that is, but it, it, it does feel even a little bit... You know, less tactical to me than, than the last game, and a lot of people you'd think wouldn't be too happy about that, but for some reason people are saying this game's amazing. Um, I mean, all I can say is, you know, uh, it's not. Play it for yourself. Uh, if you like it, good for you. You know, buy the game, sink a few hundred hours into it. Uh,. I have very little fun playing it. I have much more fun. Uh, playing Counter-Strike or, you know, any number of single-player games. Uh, there's there's so many other things out there to play at the moment. Um, I'm curious to see how Call of Duty Ghost turns out, although I haven't really liked a Call of Duty game in many years now. But I kind of like having a fast-paced, you know, sort of dumb game like this to play when I just want to relax, right? But the, uh, the netcode situation, and at the moment the performance, but as I said, I'm hopeful that'll be fixed. 
Uh, see how he killed me in about two hits there? And remember how long before it was taking me to shot? My gun doesn't do much less damage than their guns. Just so you know. Um... I do kind of like having just a dumb, fun game to play, you know, but... Uh... Battlefield has become such an exercise in... Uh, frustration, you know, in some ways it's a well-made game, and in other ways it's the most ghetto fucking thing I've ever seen in my entire life, and I've been to real ghettos. Um... I don't have fun playing it, I don't want to buy it, I don't want to make videos of it when it comes out, I probably will anyway. Thanks for watching, guys! Till next time, Triple T Cat, sinking into depression that this is what gaming has become.